What's going on guys? Coming back at you with another Python 3 tutorial today. We're going to take a look at how to encrypt and decrypt files recursively using PyAS script. So, of course we're going to need PyAS script. So, you want to go ahead and do python-m pip install PyAS script. I already have it installed, so if you don't, go ahead, get that out of the way. And now, if you take a look here at this folder, this is where I have the encrypt and the decrypt scripts. And there's a folder here called F7. And if you take a look, we have a bunch of images here, and there's images inside of folders. So I'm only showing you this because so you understand that we would need a recursive script to actually go ahead and encrypt all the files containing inside of that folder. So let's go ahead and do a quick demonstration of the script. So let's run the encrypt script and let's put a password here. And there you go. You can see that it fully encrypts all the files. And if we open the folders, everything's encrypted, right? And it actually outputs all the directories and everything that it has gone through and encrypted. Now, let me go ahead and run the decrypt file. And I'm going to put uh, the wrong password here. Once I do that, you can see that it actually doesn't decrypt anything because, of course, the password is not correct. Now, let's go ahead and put the right password. And there we go. We have our images back for that new final seven coming up next year hype uh, but yeah let's jump into the code at this point let me clear up the screen here there we go so this is the code it's actually only 20 lines of code pretty much for both scripts and uh, that's including comments and you know could probably make this even smaller and that's why people fall in love with Python, right? Because of its simplicity and how much you can get done with so little code, right? So yeah, here we go ahead and import PyAS script, which I already showed you guys how to install using pip. And code is very simple. We just go ahead and set the buffer size. Then we get the current working directory. It's very important to do that when working with encryption decryption because you could easily especially considering recursion you don't want to go ahead and you know encrypt your whole hard drive that would be horrible so after that we ask the user for a password print a nice little message and this is the main loop where we go ahead and get all of the files recursively and so if you're gonna test the script out, the only thing you need to change is this directory over here. You need to go ahead and put, you know, place the script on the folder where you wanna encrypt. And one level above, you just wanna put the name of the directory. So you can see that we pass double asterisk here. And that's the argument that's gonna go ahead and get all of the files, regardless of being images or whatever. And of course you need to set recursive to true using glob all right so once we do that uh yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this command this is the actual command that either encrypts or decrypts so basically we need to pass the original file name the new file name the password we want to use to encrypt or decrypt and the buffer size so with that out of the way it's important to understand that you're gonna wanna pass the whole path. Like I explained, it's safer. 
and then for the new file we just go ahead and add dot aes but this could really be any extension and then we just make sure that the file in question is a file and not a folder otherwise it's going to throw an error and we print the information accordingly of both the original and the encrypted file before going ahead and encrypting and optionally you can remove the old file otherwise you're going to have two files you're going to have the encrypted and the original left over so i went ahead and put this command in to get rid of the original file in the process and looking at the decrypt script it's kind of the same thing there's not much else going on the you can see the directory here double asterisk for recursion and of course the recursive argument needs to be set to true the only difference is inside of the main loop here once we check that the file is actually a file and not a directory we're gonna have a try clause here and if we get value error then we're just gonna print wrong password because that means that the user did not put the correct password and the command for pi aes script is basically the same thing but this time we need to put the encrypted file and then we need to put the original file name that we want and the password and buffer size is the same and I guess the only other little detail is we use the OSPAT split text command here to basically remove the dot AES extension or if you put a different like some people put dot lock then it would get rid of that last extension so yeah that's basically the script here we have the images already decrypted I'm gonna go ahead and run this once more so you can see how it works and put the password whatever password encrypts the whole thing boom you can see nothing left behind it goes inside all the folders there could have been also a text file or uh, mp3 whatever type of file it would have gone ahead and encrypted as well and to decrypt make sure it's the same password and boom instantly decrypt the whole thing right so pretty sweet pretty short tutorial hope you guys like that one signing off peace